All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk some boxing. It's been real slow in boxing this week, so, you know, I switched the hustle up. Um, I ain't got to reach for stories to do stories or lie about stories. You got a lot of guys I'm exposed tomorrow. If everything go how it's supposed to go tomorrow, I'm exposed in tomorrow. But uh, let's just talk about this heavyweight English muffin. You know, with the crumpets, these crumpets, these English crumpets. Fury and AJ and Eddie Hearn said he don't think uh, Fury, he Eddie Hearn thinks Fury doesn't want the Anthony Joshua fight. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and uh, check out Boxing News twenty four seven. They got they got the whole shit dig over there. And he's, if uh, they say I saw John Fury's comment, Eddie Hearn, it's almost like they don't want to fight. Um, I like them uh, to talk it up rather than talk it down. So basically, the daddy, I seen it yesterday, man. I ain't feel like doing a video on it. Uh, this really ain't my type of hype. You know, this ain't my, uh, these these crumpets, these English crumpets and English muffins fight. So basically, he said they don't want to do it in the pandemic. That's what uh, the Elder Fury says. And I know what, I agree with them. They can't do it in front of British fans. Why well, do it now? But the problem is, Tyson Fury said he don't want to fight in England no more. But right now, basically what Fury Father saying is it don't make sense to do it when the world ain't open up. When it ain't full capacity. You know, I remember somebody was telling me when before boxing fully came back that boxing only wanted to put on premier fights because they wanted to make money. And I knew that was bullshit because, you know, because it was, it was a small percentage of capacity, which is what he was hearing. I know boxing promoters are full of bull job. And they got to get that money up front. Don't nobody want to take less money with no crowd to do a fight. So Eddie Hearn pressing hard for this fight, you know, because they know it's an opportunity that, you know, it might not. We made a ton of fights with Bob Aram, if you Eddie Hearn. Why let Deontay Wilder or somebody else get in the picture and mess the good rapport up? So if it's not likely to happen... Right now, AJ should fight Usyk. Fury should fight Wilder or Joe Joyce again, whatever you want to do. And then when the world opens back up, then they can do it again. But I do think the English fans deserve to see the undisputed fight. I do think they defer to see it. And Tyson Fury always talking suspect. He always, I uh, don't know if I want to do it in you know, big drama, so I, I do it for the fans. But he always talking like a mark. And that's just the honest, honest true. But you know, he fought, he fight the top guys. So I'm really not concerned about what he's saying because making twenty, thirty million dollars in the pandemic, that's good money. But he's sparring, he dropping weight, he not trying to overtrain. The fight gonna happen. I heard Deontay Water got paid off. So they got him out the way. So be it. And it's really all Wilder fight. If you if you mad at these English muffins or these crumpets fighting each other. It's his fault. He could have went to fight Anthony Joshua. That's what he said. A lot of his fans want to act like he didn't say that. You know who I'm talking about. The letter crew. But he said he could have fought Joshua for more money. Why didn't you? You know, Deontay Wilder got. He, he started thinking he the top dog. He started thinking that he was roo, 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 roo. he was the baddest dog on the block. We got a German Shepherd that chased everybody on the block. She the top dog on, on the block. No cap. Even over my dog. She the top dog. She the oldest dog. She won't let no female talk to my dog. She won't let no female, no dog walk on the block without her christening or blessing them on the block. And it ain't no good. You feel me? So, Deontay Water thought he was that German Shepherd. He not. At best, you a little English Frenchy. He not that guy. You can't even pull numbers. Anthony Joshua is that nigga. Anthony Joshua is that nigga. He earth went fire. He Isley Brothers. He Ryan Isley. You know, he Aaron Hall. You know, he KC and JoJo. What I'm trying to say, he the lead, he the lead guy. He the talent. Not Deontay Wilder. And Wilder had that messed up. He thought he was a top dog. 
And now look at him. And the money's in the box, Eddie. You know, he thought he was the, the dookie. You know what Biggie say? Who really did? Who really did? <laughs> I forgot the line. Well, let's go to the second part. Because Eddie Hearn has three or four proposals for Joshua and Fury and all over the weekend for side deals. He said uh, Fury has the option. Fury has Deontay Wilder as his ace in the hole. And there's also the WC interim heavyweight champion, Dillian White, who practically begging for a world title shot. Hearn remains hopeful that a deal can get done in Joshua and Fury fight to be fighting last for the heavyweight undisputed championship before July in one of these countries, America, UK, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, China, Dubai. Do you really want to go kinda in the country where the flute with uh the COVID started? You know, her isn't saying which countries are offering the biggest site deal. So it remains to be seen if any of these offers will um pass the mustard for Joshua and Fury. Okay, we we'll know. You yeah, know, you know, and, and negotiating through the media is never good. And Eddie Hearn is a is a dummy for negotiating through it. We don't we don't need updates. Just let us know if it's gonna happen or if it's not gonna happen. You should sit there and say, you know what? Fury, we're not gonna negotiate through the media. You're not gonna negotiate through the media. Let's make it happen. You know, that's what it should be. Let's make it happen. You know, but Tyson Fury said TikTok, TikTok, like like he got an option. He could have fought in December, but they couldn't afford the opponent. He didn't want to fight Deontay Water, so he don't have no pool. They can't afford for him to pay him $15, 20000000 million to fight a bum. Or a guy who can't pull. They can't do that. You know, they can't afford him. He don't pull. He don't sell tickets. He don't bring nobody to the TV or nothing. So it's either Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, or take a pay cut, or Dillian White. You know, so I'm not even concerned about what they're doing. Some people pray the fight won't happen. Some people pray the fight will happen. I care less. If it's going to happen and I got time to watch it, then I'm going to watch it. You know, if I don't have to, I'm not going to watch it. But her doing too much talking. They need to check her and see if he got, if he a male. They need to make sure male, her, he talk too much. He talk like a woman. That's. You know, you supposed to promote your fighter, but not promote negotiations, nigga. Like, keep that under the table. And just pop up and say, well, the fight going down. Adi, Adi, when is the fight going to happen, Eddie? Oh, we, we working. You know, we'll let you guys know. Well, I can't say. Eddie Hearn tell you, you know, AJ, he, he's training, you know, uh, uh, Tyson Fury. You know, shut up. Just pop up and say the fight. If it don't happen, who cares? I don't. If it do happen, who cares? I don't. I can care less to them in the, ring, in the ring and they say ding, ding. And then we can talk about it. I'm tired of talking about negotiations, A side, B side. Who really the Duke? Yeah, I can care less. But Eddie Hearn talked to him. He talked like a woman, man. I ain't trying to be disrespectful. He talked like a woman. He can't hold water. Then Tyson Fury family talking. He talking like some females. Only person they ain't talking is Anthony Joshua. The realest dude in this whole equation. Let Eddie handle it. Can't talk about nothing that you can't control. If you're going to say yes and no to one of them offers. Simple as that. But you know what's so funny about it? Remember they were saying, well, Deontay Wilder had to come to the UK, you know, to fight. And they got all the money. They ain't got no money. If they had some money... That fight, that city, that country would be in consideration. It's about to open up pretty soon again. You know, that would be in consideration. They can't bring it here because nobody in America care about the fight. You got these five Twitter people, five people on YouTube, five people on Facebook that think it matters. It don't. They can't, you know, they can't, no, it's full capacity in America. Ain't nobody coming. Especially talking about July. Come on, man. People going to be ready to go to Earl Spence fight. You know, and then people rather just probably might care about them. But hey, let me know what you think about Addy. Don't forget, <laughs> follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all my social media links, description. Twitter is the fast way, and Facebook, and Instagram. We also got a Facebook group link, description. Want to make a donation? Cash up, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Ooh, appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Check the heavyweight boxing playlist. Peace.